So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually create the box. So, you know, we've created the first panel, we put on the UV mapping, and now we're going to take this one, we're going to duplicate it a bunch of times and create the box. Okay, so this one, we're going to do this in object mode, um, and then we're going to mesh all the pieces together afterwards. But that way we can manipulate individual panels without having... Um, trouble finding vertices or finding faces and having things stretch and deform and all that stuff. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit shift D with with this pane selected we're going to hit shift D and then we're going to rotate that 90 degrees on the Z axis. All right and so it does a nice 90 degree angle for us like so. All right then we're going to shift D again and we're going to do uh, rotate on the Z axis 190 degrees oh sorry 180 degrees yeah where did I do math 180 degrees yeah it's reading as like a lot more than that okay there we go do have to hit delete if you mess up the first time. Okay. So, there's that. It looks like it's pulling in a little bit, but we'll see. Actually, I think I think it'll be fine. All right. So, uh, the front panel here. We'll shift D that again, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab that on the Y. And we're going to go negative 2. Uh, actually, let's just go 2. There we go. Alright. And then we're going to rotate that on the Z axis. And that's going to be 180. And uh, I forgot that because... Oh. <laughs> because that's... Uh, we never change the center point. which uh, That's fine because all the center points are going to be in the center and that's just where the center is going to be so that that's fine we're going to grab this and on the y and it'll be negative two there we go all right so now we're starting to see a box all right so now what i want to do is select these two panes here we're going to go shift d and then we're going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees. Boom. Okay. So now if we render that out, it looks like we have a box. Um, and you can leave it at the, at, at the, you know, just like this. That's fine. Um, you know, it kind of gives it a bit more of a three-dimensional look and whatnot. Um, I'm going to change this just a little bit and I think I'm going to bring the uh, the bottom and the top and have them actually inset inside the box. So um, what I'm going to do is scale them on the z-axis and just bring them down. Um, I got to zoom in because I can't see exactly where I am here. Okay, so scaling on the z-axis and just have them just crest the top just ever so slightly just so you know you can see that it's another board and then render that image and that kind of fills it out a whole bunch a bit bit more. Um, you can also do this with uh, these two sides here uh, the uh, the left and the right um, highlight those two pieces, scale those on the x-axis. Oh, sorry. I guess I got turned around here. I'm, I'm actually on the front and back. So actually, I'm going to select these two because actually I want that front side how it is. Okay. So here we go. So selecting the left and the right side. Um, I'm going to scale those on the x-axis and bring those bring those in just a little bit. Um, got to zoom in again just to make sure I get 
the correct amount. So scale on the X, bring it in. All right, now let's go render. And there you go, there's your, your crate. I might even bring it in just a little bit more. So I'll scale that on the X. And yeah, that. Molto bene. That's that's pretty good. I like that. That actually looks that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can go to render and just make sure that all our edges look good. It you know nothing's you know peering through or you know we're having any any problems with multiple meshes or anything like that. So it looks looks pretty good. Um, so we'll get out of that, we'll go to solid and zoom out just a little bit. Now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into one solid object. Now you can parent the individual panes and that'll be great if you want to have the crate explode or do something crazy um, like that, you know, in the future or whatever. Um, but if you just want it to be a crate and that's it um, for your game and not you know anything elaborate um, just select all the panes okay so I think we have all the panes selected um, you can test it by moving it and yep all the panes are selected um, then you hit control J and it merges them all into one mesh Okay, so there we go. Select the camera, select box, and the box is one, one object. Okay, so now you have a fully renderable shipping crate that you can use for your games. Um, so yeah, knock yourself out. <laughs> um, this is Kyle with Five Minute Guide. If you've found this tutorial useful, leave a comment in the comment area below and subscribe to our YouTube page.